Thanks, Hannah. We are joined by some very special friends who have drove all the way from Atlanta to make their nonprofit known, right? We're getting the word out. So we're here with Ruben and Sarah Pina. I said it right? Sir Piana. Sir, Sir Piana, there we go. Okay, so we are joined by these two from For the Kids Georgia Nonprofit. So Ruben, you are the founder of this nonprofit. Tell us why you decided to start this. But first, how are you all doing driving all the way down from Atlanta? Yeah, we drove all the way from Doug Dougville, Georgia. Um, we're fine. We're good. Um, yeah. We're excited to be here. Um, we're excited to have you all. We've been here all weekend, and we, we've been having a good time. Yeah. So explain to us what this nonprofit is. For the Kids Georgia is a nonprofit based off specialized in helping the youth, um, K-12. Um, it was founded in 2020, um, of May 2020. Um, so we're coming up on, what, four years? Four years. Wow, it's that's exciting. Kind of what I've been through as a child, you know, growing up with a single mom and seeing the struggles, the faces of it. And that's how I developed the nonprofit originally to give back to my community and um, also developing my staff who is also passionate and a lot of them who've been through the same stuff that I went through. Wow, that is really inspiring. So what do you all do out in the community? So I know you said that this nonprofit is definitely for the kids, right? Mm -hmm. So what are the different programs you have to help the children of the community? For the kids, Georgia is, is literally based anything that has to do with children. Um, wow, okay. We do Christmas drives, we've done tour drives, we recently just had our school drive. Um, we've done painting, painting with the kids. We do, we try to tap into anything that really has to do with kids, honestly. Um, at this current moment, I'm holding this helmet because we have a project initiative that's aimed at helping Stuart Middle School replace their uniforms um, for the football team. Um, okay. So that initiative is one of our big initiatives at this current moment. And that just to show you that anything that really has to do with children we're involved in. Yeah, and I mean, you all have grown a lot in the past four years, right? So how does that make you feel as a founder? And like you said, you took something that you used from your past and turned tragedy into triumph, right? Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel to be able to kind of give other kids who are in the same predicament as you a head start and give them help? I mean, it's, 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 it's a good thing. Like when we see where we started from four years ago, um, to the staff I started with, to the staff I have now, it always had one thing in common. Everybody that's a part of this organization or who has been a part of this organization has been willing to do this for free. Their personal time, their personal money, anything, and stuff like that. And it just shows me, like, wow, how far we come, looking back at where we started and where we are now today. Yeah. And what's your position with For the Kids, Georgia? I'm the president. Perfect. So how does that make you feel to be able to be kind of like the voice for this organization, right? It makes me feel good. I yeah. Mean, it, it feels good to give back, you know help people in the community, you know, do different things and activities to bring hope to the community. And what's the kids' responses when you all are there and, you know, you're giving back and you're helping them and you're like, you're not alone? What's their responses been? Kids, I tell people this all the time, are really grateful, uh, especially dealing with the generation that we deal with now. It's kind of tough, but at the end of the day, they're grateful, um, especially the kids that we do, you know, toys for Christmas and stuff like that even little stuff when they go to school. We do it, we partner with Chick-fil-A a lot of the times and to reward the kids who's achieving in school. And they're just, to see their faces to receive a $10 gift card from Chick-fil-A. It's just, it's the, I, there's no words for it, honestly. That is amazing. And so what do you all have coming up next? What's the next fundraiser? So I know you just said we just got done with back to school. What's next? Mm -hmm. So the next couple months, um, like I said, this project initiative, we also have a project coming up with Lowe's to partner to fix up the, the lawn of the school and stuff like that, make it more presentable. Um, we have one of our brothers who um, play in the NFL who we, we are about to partner with to do um, something for the community. We haven't officially planned it yet, but there's more things to come and they'll be available to see on the website. Perfect, and then how can people help you all make your mission possible? People can help us by supporting us. Um, it's, you know, a lot of people think it's just donating money. A simple click on Instagram to repost something can help us, you know, um, as far as like monetary donations and stuff like that. We we big on that, but it's not really, th that's not the biggest thing at the end of the day. It's really just support so that we can have people come out to the events and help us and um, whatever. You know, when, when we have events, the supplies that we need, we ask that people donate, um, ask that people be involved. Because the, the more that we see people involved, the more we can do. Um, the more we stick together. I, I have this favorite thing, I say together we stand divided, we fall. Um, and I feel like with not just my staff, but with everybody else who's helping us. I feel like if we can stick to that, we'll, we'll be able to get to where we need to go. 
That is absolutely beautiful, Ruben. And I think that's a perfect, perfect quote to end on. So you all know the drill. If you want to help support For the Kids Georgia's mission, we will have all of their information, including socials and a link to where you can donate your time and possibly donate your funds on our website, wsav.com slash today weekend. And coming up next on WSAV News 3 Today Weekend, we have a look at sports from our WSAV 3 sports team.